Hello guys, welcome back for another one. Scotty Senior here. Thanks for joining us. This was our first effort at round two of the pre-season manufacturers <coughs> at Fuji. The short one. We don't really like Fuji. We always seem to struggle here. Uh, a poor qualifying. We made a, a, a big mistake in the qualifying lap. Ended up where did the back? And we're not going to battle on the way into the first corner with these guys. Surely we're not going to battle. We're not silly. We shouldn't be thrown out of the way in the first corner. We're off on coasting. Not everyone makes it round safe. <coughs> and again, we'll lift them we'll coast here, I think. If we remember correctly, did but we did indeed. I'm gonna drop back the dead last, but there's the incidents up to 17th. This was a pretty interesting round for us, not in terms of the racing, and now someone else loses the back end up to 16th. <coughs> It wasn't a good round for us in terms of points. Pretty boring. Races. We had two attempts at it, and you'll see in our next attempt. The kind of stuff goes down. It was um it was fun at the time. You should be able to check it out on the live stream. But we'll focus on this one at the moment. A penalty up ahead, I'll reserve for Mr. Frost. <coughs> I'll have a quick skip throughout this video. I do remember at the end of this video thinking to myself, well, that was a pretty boring one for a, a replay. We're going to have to skip quite a bit of that. Got a guy on us thinking of a, a move. And we don't fight moves. Not at this point of the race anyway. It's the most important time to try and not get involved in an incident. <coughs> In Harry's livery today that he's made for us. You'll see our name just on the side of it there. There we go. <coughs> Back on board while it's starting to bunch up here in front of us. Mr. Ford making a move, two for the price of one offer. <coughs> I'm gonna pick the wee penalty up there somewhere as well. So again, we shall continue to skip. We've lost the north spot on a north spot back down to 18th. Back to square one. Three laps wasted with that penalty. <coughs> I do believe it was only a one second penalty as well. And we'll continue with the skip.
I have to say I'm looking forward to getting through this replay. Don't really have much of a memory of this except for at the end of it thinking to myself, right, well that was a a pretty boring race, it'll not be a good one for watching in the replay. But I have to say I'm looking forward to already getting on to number two. A second try to have a proper wee watch of the replay and refresh your memory so it won't bend down. Trying to hug you inside there. Okay, and we'll continue to skip. If this guy gets a run on, there's no doubt. We'll be handing it over to him. <coughs> Looks like he's coming on the inside. There he is. And we'll lift. Mr. Smith finds himself back in 15th as well. He must have been involved in an incident. Again, we're left and coasting. I do believe this was a fuel saver as well. <coughs> as most of them are, I think we'd all like to be to be out if not having to short shift or lift and coast. Unless we're looking after the tires and that's the reason we're doing it, but no one really wants this fuel saving thing. It turns quite a lot of the races in the follow the leader. Let's go out for a Sunday drive around the countryside like we grannies. And sneaking up the 11th. But a guy getting a cut back on both of us, two guys coming in <clears throat> and all getting a bit tight and can you believe we picked up a two second penalty for that shit? Let's look at that again. I fail to see anywhere there where we deserve that two second penalty. If anything we were the victim of being mauled and and pushed around but we've picked up the two second penalty which is again gonna destroy the race for us we'll get off the racing lane and we'll come into the pits that's right we'll come into the pits i think slightly early i think that was not meant to be our pitting flap it but because we had already lo lost our top speed we thought to ourselves right we'll lose less time if we pit now <coughs> Again, back to 18th. We'll continue with this skip. <coughs> Some people jumping into the pits. Again, not wanting to give anyone the opportunity to push us out off of the track by placing ourselves on the outside of them. We've learned our lesson a few times by trying to overtake people and hoping that they have the same kind of racing attitude as ourselves, but they don't. So we've kind of we've lost a bit of trust in the actual racing with people just lately, side by side. It has knocked us back. And there has just 
recently been an update a couple of days ago <clears throat> I'm yet to play the game from the update that's happened but I am thinking that the penalties are even worse than I in terms of they have put it back to there's basically no penalty from what I've seen online on other YouTube streams you can now just ram ram people off the track the side the side contact penalty is still on and still working but you, you're you're still allowed to rear rear end people on the way into the corner and ram them off the track use them as, as your braking area and no penalty handed out which is the worst penalty not to have it's going to allow guys to make their way up to an S rank yet again we're just starting to get it all starting to settle back down this will allow everyone basically to make their way back up to an S rank again so all the lobbies will be filled with guys who are prepared to ram you off and then it just leads to more mistrust <clears throat> in racing everybody you can't really afford to place yourself in the wrong place of people at the moment the way the penalties are Lap 11, coming around to the end, 3 laps to go, and we're in 15th, Mr. Smith was struggling with something, I'm not sure what he's struggling with here, and he's looking particularly slow at the moment, perhaps a bit of damage on his car or something. Bit of action going on up ahead of us there. <coughs> Excuse me. And we shall continue with the skip because we're not on on this bunch yet. Mr. Felix, Mr. Felix was in this race at the front having a battle with her very own Mr. Harry if I remember correctly so Mr. Felix m must have already he was creating a bunch at the start of the race with himself and Harry and, and other guys and then he's got involved in an incident and it's been him who's been creating this wee bunch in front of us although he's now only one car ahead of us But he must have had a very frustrating race. He was extremely aggressive. I do believe at one point of this race with us. But we sorted that out on the track. And as I say, he was he he was in this race fighting for a battle of bubbly for a good chunk of the race and he has found himself his race is already over basically for him he must be driving around here very annoyed and disgusted you can see how aggressive he's going there on the defending with Mr. Phantom and we're just trying to stay out of it all And we'll try to drive around the outside of him here but he was not going to let that happen being very defensive again <coughs> uh, 
on the last lap, I do believe, shit goes down on the last lap. That is when shit usually happens in any kind of racing. But as I say, we don't. There's no grudges held or anything with Mr. With Mr. Felix. We're sure he's his head's melted already at this stage of the race. As I say, he he was capable of a battle of bubbly in this race, and it has all went wrong for him. Try and squeeze yourselves. We'll get some save aside. Can we get the cut back on him? He's picked up a second penalty there. So it's just back. We'll almost be happy to stay behind him now with that second penalty. Although it doesn't work out that way. Again really defensive and that has kind of annoyed us and we've just placed ourselves in front of them. We decide here to trust him on the and you see how aggressive he was coming up and we got the penalty for that and we tried to push him on off the track and that didn't work and then we just take the guy clean out and can you believe there was no penalty handed out for that one. So let's have a look at the penalty. The penalty handed out. <laughs> Just here. So he threw it up the inside, rammed us, and then he's all four wheels have left the track, and we have received a penalty for that. And then we are allowed to go kamikaze and receive no penalty whatsoever and totally take him out. Which he fully deserved. He, he did fully deserve that, Felix. We'll have another another juke at it from your point of view, sir. Before we end this one. Well, here we are on Felix. <coughs> Again, that's just... Not, not good driving. And he wants it. And that's what led the R penalty. And then we've just had enough and say, there you go, Mr. Felix. And hopefully... Felix had a wee bucket and spade with him that day because he, he did enjoy a bit of time in the sand and he's going to bring it home at dead last we ended up in 14th position there so I'll catch us in the next try where we bump into Mr. PG Motorsport another YouTuber if you've seen him very fast from his videos he looked like a, a, a very good driver very fast Will you see the state he drives against us in, in the next race? Thank you.